simple guys this is CPG effects designs and this is actually going to be my very first upload to my new channel or not my new channel but my YouTube channel uh, today what I'm going to be showing you is I'm going to be showing you how to install Adobe Photoshop brushes um, user created brushes by our people around the world and not people from Adobe uh, I'm going to be showing you how to install them into Adobe Photoshop CS6 and below and in the future they'll end up in end up having CS7 and CS8 or low advances or something completely different and um, pretty much what you're going to want to do is go into the folder where all your brushes would be saved now what I have is I have an external hard drive which is completely separate and I have all my own stuff all my Photoshop stuff and what I would find here is the brushes I use these are all the brushes I use for every single piece I do all my digital artwork um, my 3D designs is mostly done in Cinema 4D, but uh, when it comes to concept art or just little doodles, these are the brushes I use. Now, what you want to do is go into computer, your main hard drive, not the secondary one, like this is the main one here, Acer C, then secondary is Data D. Go into Acer C, program file x86 if you're on the 64 bit version. If you do not have the 64 bit version, then the x86 will not be there, it'll just be this file here. Now what you want to do is go into x86, then Adobe, then go into Adobe Photoshop CS6, CS5.1, whichever one you pick, all the photos are the same. They all still have the main photos inside them, you'll still be able to install the brushes. What I'm going to be doing tomorrow or Tuesday, is I'm going to be making a new video on how to install Adobe Photoshop CS6 and CS5.1. Well, not really showing you how to install well yeah, I'll be showing you how to install them. I'll be showing you where to download them from, how to download them, and I'll be showing you how to install them, how to install them properly so there's no mistakes made. Like because in CS5.1, CS5.5, what happens is if you install them, when you have that on it connected, the key will work properly, but then after closing and uh, closing Photoshop CS5.1, 5.5 or below that, once you load it up, the key will not be valid. Adobe just shut down that key, you can't use it again because of the way it works out, you have to be disconnected from the internet all the time with CS5.5 and below but with CS6 you don't have to do that, with CS6 I was able to enter the key online while well and it's still connected and it still works and I'll show you it's still working in a few minutes um, now the main Photoshop program I use is CS6 so I'm going to do it this way you go into CS6 or the main Photoshop you use, go into presets, then go into brushes. Now, <coughs> the brushes you would have, which are here for me, you would just pick them and load them over. Then go to continue and continue. Then that will be them installed into it, hopefully. But uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my Photoshop and show you a little piece I'm working on just now, which you can't see over there. You can't. You okay you can't see it now hide hide you son bitch okay so that's the piece I'm working on just now and I'll go on details into it in the future that little bit's not meant to be there uh, I'll show you how I done this in the future I'll show you the end of result with it which is pretty much is a, a castle concept design uh, of a Scottish castle the castle is actually in Scotland well not Scotland it is a British castle um, I've just took it, done a sketch around it, then I'm trying to add different details to it, add flags to the, the roofs of it, and add more details into the way it is digitally. Like, I, the main thing it was from was a picture, but I've tried to transform it into digital from Photoshop. Um, now what you would do is, you would go to brush, now what you can see is these little B symbols, that's the shortcuts like, if I was to go to E, that would be the eraser tool, control Z, undo, B for brush, now you would go down to here and what you would normally find is down this little section here, you would normally find the brush you just installed and you will load it, like I could install, like I could just go with dry media brushes and this is a brush I normally use, the brush I normally use is a number 2 pencil for sketching normally that one. Now if the brushes you've installed aren't in this drop down box it is a problem with CS6. Nothing else, just CS6. If you install it with CS5.5 or below the brushes will show up here. I can 
prove you that. I can promise you that they will show up there. Um, but if they don't show up there in CS6, then go to load brushes and just load them from the folders. If you don't have a separate folder for your brushes, then just go to desktop where you save the, f the brushes and pick them from there. But I'll show you it works with the load brushes by just choosing this random brush set. Yeah, uh, brush set. And going down to the very bottom, where you have these brushes. Look. Look. No, I'll. Okay, let's do a little bit of joy. Hey. Now that is a lot of shit. Um, well guys, that is pretty much me for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like the video if you did enjoy it. Please leave a little comment if you think I can improve in any way or upload more videos daily. Any comment will be nice. As long as it's constructive criticism, any negative feedback, well, just negative feedback, it'll, I'll improve in what you say. Um, but also if you want, subscribe too. It really does help out a lot and it keeps me happy to make out more videos and everything. But guys, that's me done for today. I'll see you guys next time up with a video, which will be in a Photoshop installation download video. See you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.